Being a, an athlete in school is, is very, very normal. Uh, but when you're a football player, a soccer player, uh, all sorts of the more accepted sports by, by the school and the university, um, it makes life a lot easier. The teachers are, are willing to help out and everything, but racing really isn't accepted as much by, by everybody. I started racing when I was 10 years old uh, in go-karts, kind of progressed up through the levels. Um, Single-seaters, kind of originally planned on going the single-seater route to, to hopefully Formula One or IndyCar. Uh, then through, uh, through my dad's involvement in sports car racing, I kind of hopped over uh, into sports cars in 2008. We're not directly in competition, we're in different classes, but Sure, we always go home together and compare notes about the tracks and driving styles and how we can both improve and get better, I guess. So, so we're both at the front of the pack every weekend. The biggest thing I've seen is, is his growth as a driver has been tremendous. He went from somebody with a lot of raw talent but didn't know how to put it all together on the racetrack to now where he's uh, very effective. He's driving at a very high professional level. Uh, he's clearly put it all together. At the racetrack, Jordan and I don't get to talk much. I mean, we're both really focused on our own teams, um, trying to make our cars as fast as possible and trying to trying to win the race in our own class. So we don't see each other too much. We give each other uh, good lucks and everything. But uh, when it comes time, I'll help him on the track. He'll help me, and and I think it's it's a good way a good way to work so we can be a team and and not interfere with each other's races.